Brittany does presents. How to handle disrespect. Smart ways to deal with rude people. If someone's words or actions give off the vibe that they don't really see your worth or think you deserve to be treated with courtesy, they're probably being disrespectful. Encountering such people can leave you feeling small, angry, or just plain confused. But you shouldn't have to end your disrespect. Nobody is entitled to mistreat you, overlook your fundamental needs, or exploit you. Here are various strategies that can help you effectively handle those not so pleasant interactions. Number one, keep your cool. Responding to rudeness with similar behavior is a natural instinct, but it's a path that rarely leads to a positive outcome. Engaging in such a manner only results in a cycle of negativity. In contrast, staying cool, calm and collected in the face of rudeness can have a dramatically different effect. By choosing not to escalate the situation, you help prevent the conflict from spiraling out of control. This approach not only diffuses the immediate tension, but also leaves the other party reflecting on their behavior, especially when they see it as in affecting you and the way they might have intended. Maintaining your composure under such circumstances also demonstrates a level of maturity and self-control that can be deeply satisfying. It feels pretty good to keep you cool when someone else is losing theirs. Number two, don't jump the conclusions. Certain remarks and actions that are rude can be blatantly offensive, like outright insults, which are undeniably disrespectful. However, not all scenarios are straightforward. Sometimes what seems like disrespect could be a misunderstanding or just a bad attempt at humor. That's why it's best to avoid hastily jumping the conclusions. Consider giving others the benefit of the doubt and explore other possible reasons behind their behavior. Are they stressed, insecure, or simply unaware? Your response then can address the root of disrespect rather than just the surface level rudeness. Not only does this approach help in diffusing potential tension, but also ensures your response is measured and thoughtful. Number three, disarm them with kindness. Responding with kindness is a strategic and often effective approach to dealing with rude and disrespectful individuals. This method works because it is unexpected. Rude people are typically prepared for a defensive or equally aggressive response. So when you reply with kindness, it can throw them off balance. This element of surprise can shift the dynamics of the interaction. Instead of escalating into a conflict, the situation may become more manageable or even resolve altogether. Now responding with kindness does not equate to allowing yourself to be mistreated or walked all over. It's about handling the situation with grace and dignity while ensuring you affirm your stance when necessary. Number four, ask clarifying questions. If you're uncertain about whether someone's words or actions are intentionally disrespectful, it can be helpful to get more information or ask for further explanation. Asking them what they mean or to elaborate with sincere interest does more than just seek clarification. It suddenly shifts the dynamic of the conversation. For one, it compels the speaker to reflect on and explain their statement, often making them reconsider the impact of their words. It also shows that you're open, understanding their point of view, framing your question in a way that seeks to understand, rather than accuse, helps establish a more open and respectful dialogue. Number five, maintain respectful body language. Your body language is a powerful communicator, often saying more than words ever could. In situations where you're confronted with disrespect, the way you carry yourself can significantly impact how the scenario unfolds. Aggressive body language, such as crossing your arms or pointing fingers, can inadvertently escalate the situation. These gestures might be interpreted as defensive or confrontational, adding fuel to the fire of a disrespectful exchange instead. Aim for a stance that projects calmness and control. For example, keeping your arms relaxed at your sides or comfortably in your lap can signal openness and willingness to engage constructively. Nodding and maintaining eye contact shows that you are listening and present in the conversation, but not intimidated. Number six, determine whether it's worth confronting the person. If the disrespect is slight or appears only once, it makes more sense to let it slide and move on. 
besides reacting to every minor, insulins can be exhausting and may unintentionally amplify its significance. Having said that, ignoring disrespect is not always advisable, especially when it's recurrent. Consistently, overlooking such behavior might inadvertently signal tolerance, potentially leading to an increase in frequency or intensity. This is particularly concerning if the disrespect starts to interfere with your daily life, peace of mind, or work performance. These cases addressing the issue might be the right call. Number seven, don't take it personally. When confronted with someone's rude behavior, it is natural to feel as though their actions are intentional and targeted specifically at you. But this may not always be the case. Their behavior could simply be a coincidence or a reflection of their personal challenges and frustrations. So instead of automatically assuming that their actions are directed at you, take a moment to consider if there are other factors at play. It can also be helpful to observe how they interact with others. If you notice that they consistently exhibit a grumpy or unpleasant demeanor toward everyone they encounter, it becomes apparent that their behavior is not about you. Specifically, this realization, it can provide a sense of relief and help avoid internalizing their rude actions or words. Number eight, practice assertiveness. When it comes to effectively handling disrespect, assertiveness plays a crucial role. It's about confidently voicing your thoughts and feelings while still being considered of others. For instance, if someone belittles your ideas, and assertive response would be to calmly state the value of your contributions and ask for them to be taken seriously. This approach allows you to stand your ground on important issues, ensuring that your voice is heard without diminishing the other person's dignity. It's a way of communicating that acknowledges your self-worth and respects the worth of others, paving the way for more respectful interactions. Number nine, limit or minimize interaction. There are people who, despite understanding that their actions have caused you harm, persist in their behavior without making any effort to change. If you find yourself repeatedly facing disrespect from the same person, it's time to rethink how much space they occupy in your life. Continual disrespect can take a toll on your emotional and mental well-being, often resulting in increased stress lower self-esteem, and a decline in the overall quality of your life. In such situations, reducing the amount of interaction you have with this person can be incredibly beneficial. It's a way of prioritizing your peace and mental health over retaining a relationship that is detrimental to your well-being. At the end of the day, dealing with disrespect isn't about winning or losing. It's about maintaining your dignity and peace of mind. By handling these situations with grace, not only do you stand up for yourself, but also set a standard for how you deserve to be treated. Sometimes addressing disrespect head on is the right move. Other times, it's best to just let it slide. Pick your battles wisely and choose a response that aligns with your values and prioritizes your well-being. Let's keep the discussion going. What techniques do you like? to use to maintain your composure. When dealing with disrespectful people, have you ever faced a situation? We're choosing not to react to rudeness positively impacted the outcome. How do you balance standing up for yourself while still handling situations with grace and dignity? Share your thoughts and comments below. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified of our next post. Also to learn more about many other interesting topics, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks so much for watching.